All right, this video is going to talk you through how to create a discussion in Canvas and what that would look like for you and your students as you start posting. So if I want to add a discussion, I'm going to go to the module that I want to add it to and I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to add a discussion and I'm going to call it my e-learning discussion. And once that's added, um, I'm not going to publish it yet. I don't want students to see it, but I'm going to go in and edit this post. And then this is where you're going to put the prompt. There's lots of great resources out there about, you know, what a good discussion, online discussion prompt looks like. But my experience has been you have to be very specific for students um, so they know what their post and what their reply post should look like. Um, you can also stretch this out over the course of a week. So give students by Wednesday to do their initial post and then give them another couple days to kind of look through people's posts and then respond to each other. So it's an ongoing conversation. So once you have the directions there, remember you can link to outside videos or articles or websites. You can add visuals, something from your drive um, to kind of get that discussion going as well. So these options here are really important to kind of get the conversation going. I like to do this allowing threaded replies. That will make it so, you know, Johnny posts his original prompt and then underneath Johnny's, two other students have responded to him. So it kind of indents things and makes those responses connected. And then I usually do this one too. Make students post their original post before they see anyone else's. That makes it so you don't get the same post over and over again. And then depending on what you want, usually it's graded. So you're gonna put your points in since it's graded, where you want it to go, um, and then a due date, of course. So once you have all of that set up, you can go ahead and save it. I'm gonna publish it now. And so now you have your prompt set up. So this is what students will see. They'll see, okay, this is what I have to respond to. And then um, you can go ahead and reply. So as the teacher, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to reply. So here's, I'm gonna read my prompt, and this is where I'm gonna put my reply. can add pictures, links again to as a responder. I'm gonna go ahead and post and I'm the first poster here as the teacher, okay? So now I'm gonna switch over to the student view so you can see what they will see. So here's the student view. You can do this on your own class too to kind of see what students will see. It shows up on my to-do list. I see it in my module. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and I see the prompt and what I'm supposed to respond to. And notice how as the teacher, I responded to this, but I can't see that because it's only visible un unless I've posted my original prompt. So see, this tells you, okay, I have one person has responded, but I can't see that until I hit reply as the student. So I'm gonna go ahead and respond with my original post as the student. Okay. I'm going to post my reply and notice how everyone else's responses showed up because um, I posted my response. Okay, so now that I've posted my original, I'm going to go back to this person here and I'm going to reply to their original response. So I'm going to hit reply. I'm going to do my follow up post here. Great job. Okay, and I'm going to post my reply. So you'll see how now those are connected. This is the threaded reply. So Kate Sanford responded to the original post and this test student replied to that. So these are now connected, okay? So there'll be a little break um, with every, every original response, okay? A um, couple things you can do as the teacher. Sometimes these threaded replies can get super long. So you'll notice, okay, if I wanna kind of check my thread, I've, I've checked all this. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse this so it's a little more organized. So if you kind of don't wanna see all that, you can collapse them as you go. You can also search by student here. So if I just wanna see all the responses by Sanford, um, I can sort that way as well. Um, that little red bar here, if it was red, that means there's, there's a certain amount of posts that I haven't seen yet. Um, and that will kind of give you a, a good idea of who you need to see. If you or the students hit subscribe, that means you're gonna get an email um, every time someone new posts um, on this discussion thread. Um, one other thing I wanna show you when you're going to grade, do speed grader, 
for this discussion. It's really nice because um, I'm just looking at that test student now. What it does in SpeedGrader is it just shows you everything from that one student. So you'll see their original post and the replies all in one spot in SpeedGrader. So that's what you should need to go ahead and get started with discussions in Canvas. Um, good luck to you.